And how does Africa benefit from the Dutch Growth Fund? Well, that's still to be seen, I think. Um, as ActionAid, which is the development organization I work for, we have critically assessed the setup of this fund um, because we felt there was a, a push for an instrument without really um, having thought through the development relevance of it. Um, so we've continuously asked to, to prove that development relevance and to also build in the criteria that make that possible. So we're very curious to see, I mean, not, not all of our uh, recommendations have been taken up, unfortunately. Um, we, we think there's much more need for looking at a demand-driven type of development. So what do local communities want? What kind of investment are they interested in? How can they um, really set the agenda for which type of investments take place? And that's, I, I'm, it's not really clear to me whether that's uh, happening. But some of the recommendations were taken up and there are some uh, important criteria also on CSR. I work a lot on land rights issues, so we really hope that all of these investments will be very careful when either acquiring land or investing in land, not to display smallholders and, and violate land rights. But I think only reality can show how it's going to play out and we'll, and we'll monitor as NGOs. Um, you said a CSR, it's corporate social responsibility. A lot say this is um, a PR marketing term. Do you agree with this? Well, we, we prefer to speak of corporate accountability because we think a lot of these, um, I mean, it's about human rights and human rights are internationally enshrined in international law, um, international uh, declarations. So um, CSR can and should not be a, a promotional tool. Um, I think only, only a true... Um, only true CSR can actually benefit either both the investment as well as uh, as development. So we hope it won't be used as such, and we'll definitely be be very uh, vigilant to, to ensure that human rights are really respected and environmental impacts are really assessed. Um, so because yeah, there's there's no way that also civil society and local communities will will accept that type of CSR, which is not real. And just a final, a last question about what's your view on the partnerships created here at the Africa Works? That's hard to say. I haven't been building many partnerships yet. Um, we're mainly looking to um, uh, to engage also with the policymakers as well as the companies to see how they can improve uh, their policies and operations. So that's a specific type of partnership that we're looking for, um, a critically constructive partnership. Um, I can't really judge uh, the type of uh, partnerships that, uh, that maybe some of the companies have been making, but I hope they're, they're type of partnerships that will actually benefit communities. That's my only desire. Mm -hmm.